Couldn't see it there, guys, but I was totally shuffling. Uh, I have the most amazing shuffles that you could imagine. Beautiful. What's going on, everybody? My name's Danny Ferrari. My name's Parker Max. And we are Excellent Sound. And guys, guys, we're back. We got a big video. Huge video. We're boys dressed up. And girls. Dylan Francis and Shipwrecks. It's my house. We're super excited to do this video because, just like it's my house. It's technically a house song. It's technically house, guys. We have a brand new pack that's coming out October 1st, and we are going to announce a huge, huge extra contest. We're going to talk about all the contests we're doing. Show them technically house, bro. Boom. Bam, there it is. Holy technically house. smokes. October 1st, we're going to be unveiling details about the bonuses probably uh, next week and the contents that are going to be involved in it. So stay tuned for the next video. If you haven't seen our other videos too on um, the last couple weeks, a lot of the Mala, the Chichamis. Yeah, they're all technically house songs, guys. They're all so. technically house songs. <laughs> and um, you guys can see all, all the different announcements, but let's go ahead and just recap real quick. Uh, we're gonna talk about one of the biggest uh, contests that we are doing right now, actually the biggest for Technically House, is the first 500 people that purchase Technically House will be entered in for a drawing to win. There should be drum rolls. There should be lightning. Crazy effects. LSR 308, baby. Is that, did I say it right? Yeah, you did. Dude. Eight inch monitors, guys. Killer monitors. Last time uh, we gave away a keyboard and we gave away some headphones. So for the grand prize, the winner will get an LSR 308, a pair of them. The second place winner will win these headphones like Beautiful we did last headphones. time. ATH M50X, the only ones we use. And of course, third place will also win a hundred dollar gift card to excellentsoundstore.com. Any packs with it. You guys can check out all our other packs. But so that's just the announcement to get you guys uh, hyped up for the ones that purchase. The first, the ones that are getting it right away. That's going to be awesome for you guys. But the other big contest, and this is really important. This is going to help you guys out huge. This is what we said. This is what we we said last week that we took this community and we've built something to where people are watching what we are doing. They're watching all because of you guys. They're watching you guys too. Yeah. No, I mean it's because of them that that you know, and obviously us too. Like yeah. that, that's why they're here. So we are super excited to announce a partnership with. Motherfucking insomniac. Motherfucking insomniac. Insomniac, guys. Oh my God. Yeah, guess what? So what we're doing is we're going to have a contest, right, where you guys are going to submit your songs that you make with Technically House, okay? This, you have to use uh, Technically House in the track. You have to use uh, all of it, I believe, is what we're doing. We're allowing some things, which we'll go over, like, the specifics. Yeah, we'll have all the details, like, kind of lined up in the in the page. But the main thing you got to know is you got to have Technically House. And here's what we're going to do is we are going to pick the four best or four favorite tracks that come out. And we are going to send those to the head a &R of Insomniac. He wants to know what you guys got. Yep. So... They are looking for a lot of tech house artists, house artists. I mean, do whatever. I mean, even if it's cool, like we'll send it, but I know that that's what they're looking for right now. This is the next hot wave. So it's really important that you get the best sample pack to do it. Yeah, and this is this is our time to flex, you guys. Yeah. So this is, the, we wanna show Insomniac, the producer community that we have all built together. Um, we wanna show them our hottest tracks, uh, especially like, you know, with house. So yep. like Danny was saying, technically tech house is like super hot right now. Tropical house is super hot. So get creative with what you guys make with technically house. It's going to be huge. Um, and it's going straight to the top at insomniac. Yeah. 
it's not a guarantee that you'll get signed or anything like that, but they are they are guaranteeing that they will listen to it. Because a lot of times you guys send demos out and they have tons of ears. It's going to go directly into the head A&R's hand. There's hand. no middleman. And also, too, this is a really good chance for all of us to uh, build up this relationship with Insomniac that we've just kind of started. Um, you guys will see some other stuff we've, we've got coming with them, but it's going to be really good. So we want to see what you guys got. Give it your best so that we can keep doing more things like this. I can imagine, like, you know, tickets to, like, EDC and stuff like that in oh the future. for sure so that's all because of you guys but uh without further ado we'll have a, a video announcing all the contest details for that a little bit later um and we're also gonna be talking about how you guys can get all the elements in this project and the project file but right now you guys can go ahead and click the link in the description down below if you want to get the free download for this we are going to go ahead and play this sound this sound is in the download description below along with the rack such a good song Everybody wants to know how to make this sound. Yes. Everybody. We've been getting hit up so much. So we're going to go over that sound. Of course, the rack is in there. And I'm pretty sure you could do this with any DAW if you want. I can kind of explain that too. Uh, I know you guys are wanting some few Fruity Booters are asking for some Fruity Boot videos. Fruity Tootin' Booters. We got a lot of different content coming up, guys, besides just the remakes. Uh, we got a lot of production tutorials coming up soon, so, so stay tuned to that. Make sure you guys grab that in the description down below. Make sure you like the video. Smash the like button. Smash the subscribe button. Smash all of it, dude. Smash your keyboard. Smash your keyboard. <laughs> Punch your monitor. Let's get fucking going. Let's get producing. Um, and comment. The best comment will win a pack of their choice down below. Okay. So this sound, right? All these sounds are also probably going to be, actually, I could say not probably. I know for a fact, a lot of these sounds are going to be in Technically House too as well. Uh, a lot of the drum sounds. And you can get a lot of these sounds early. Woo, that donk. And the oh, sub. The sub is insane. We can talk about how you guys can get all these sounds uh, early a little bit later. But yeah, so uh, this pluck sound, we're going to go ahead and start it off with an initiated patch. Let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> Hell yeah. Bring it. Okay, so um, a lot of people, uh, you know, I think want to know how to make this sound. And I think it's a really, really good house sound to make it we we spent a lot of time trying to figure this out because we made similar sounds to it but to try to get the right tonality took us a minute huh parks yeah there was about probably four phases yeah there was a lot of phases going on not bad phase but good phases yeah all i mean we were making some crazy leads yeah uh, just in that same rhythm yep and we loved them yep you know but it wasn't their sound you know we, we try to get as accurate as we can exactly so we'll go over the automation too so you guys can kind of understand how that works so the first things first is we have a basic shape we're going to be using a sine wave with the octave at plus one the level is going to be set at noon at 48 roughly not at noon but almost at noon just as just a sign frequency right now okay mm -hmm. then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set the uh warp mode to fm from b um and we're going to go ahead and get into b in a second but first we're going to go ahead and put that at 54 which it already is at sweet so yeah make sure you guys have the fm from b to 54 oscillator b is going to be basic shops and it's going to be a square wave with the octave set to plus two House. Square waves are really great to FM into if you guys smoke Nodge like we do. Definitely recommend using a sine and a square wave when you're using FM because the square has all those odd harmonics and the sine has the one harmonics. Smoke that shit up yes. if you like to get high on Nodge up. like us, okay? Um, yeah, so definitely using a square wave into a sine wave can definitely give you the best uh, results with interesting timbres when it comes to FM. Bam. <laughs> Clear yeah, that there's bolt. some dudes on uh, Instagram talking about how you can make any sound with a sine wave. That's kind of like the base of it, every wave very, table is a sine wave that was a huge really nug cool. right there yeah that was like an eighth eighth of notch so join us on an instagram <laughs> yeah join us on instagram join us on instagram we got some more nugs of nudge awesome nugs of nudge on there too at xlnt sound is the tag so uh going back to the square wave we're gonna have the level all the way down but we're also going to make sure that the random is all the way down and we're gonna go ahead and do this we're gonna go ahead and fm from the sub oscillator that's right we the did chain this chain of fm 
When we were doing the uh, Where Are You Now remake, uh, we were doing that with uh, also oscillating uh, the FM, the expensive sounds from the sub. So using essentially three oscillators to get interesting FM. Now you don't necessarily have to do this. You can get a wavetable that's kind of a mix of a sine and square FM'd into each other, but this is just a really good way just to do it in Serum, a lot of fun. I think it turns expensive when you start FMing <laughs> for the second time. Yeah, if you have two FMs Yes, going on. then it's a super expensive okay. sound. And then what we're gonna do is we head in, we, we, we we made a macro for this, so we put this macro on uh, the FM, so you guys can go ahead and adjust this to where you want. If you click on macro two, you're gonna wanna head and pull that down to about 30, okay? So what you can do is you can adjust this what you want. Uh, the, the preset already has this, but we have this just turned up all the way. So let's go ahead and initialize our sub. Okay, we're gonna be using a sine wave, and we're gonna put that to plus three with the level all the way down. Oh. You can kind of hear it starting to come together, just a, just a touch, okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, next, let's go ahead and talk about the envelope one. Yours might not be sounding like that because we have envelope one like so. Envelope one is going to be an attack at 0.5 milliseconds. Hold all the way down. Decay at 581. Sustain at all the way down. It doesn't really matter. And then the release at 114, okay? And then... What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and initialize the noise oscillator. And you're going to want to choose this attack miscellaneous, and you're going to want to go for elastic one, okay? We played with a lot of noises on this one. This elastic one seemed to be the closest one. You could try a bunch of different, like, uh, the glass ones are the really, really oh, great. Oh, yeah, those are the glass lid. Yep. We like using those a lot. Make sure the phase and random all the way down. Make sure you got one shot mode initiated and key tracking with the pitch set to 36 semitones i think that's what it stands for right yeah ST? okay cool so now that we got that let's go ahead and let's initialize our first filter uh we're going to use the low 24 like so and make sure the cutoff is set to two two sevs right mm -hmm. res all the way down drive all the way down fat all the way down mix all the way up it's going to sound really filtered like this let's go solo okay so let's go ahead and let's start adding some pluckage to it. So I think we're going to have to go ahead and make a new envelope with envelope two. Uh, envelope two is going to look like this, guys. So envelope two should be 0.5 milliseconds. Let me make that shit bigger for you guys. Make it large. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Better be Steve Corral up on there, I swear to God. <laughs> 0.5 uh, milliseconds. Hold all the way down. Decay at 330 and the sustain at 3.01 and 80 for the release. And then I'm going to go ahead and add this to the cutoff. I'm going to make sure it goes both ways, just like Parker. Switch, click, option, command. Pull that shit up to 100. Watch this. Nice. We're That's getting That's real nice. Okay, so now let's go ahead and make our third envelope. It's going to be very similar to everything else, except the attack is going to be at all the way down at zero, hold all the way down, decay at 429, sustain all the way down, and release at 116. I smoked a nug of Nodj in an earlier video about using envelopes, sometimes in LFOs, for, for like kind of plucky bases like this. Yeah. Definitely make sure you guys go smoke Nodj to that video at our Instagram and check that out why I said it. I'm it's not going right to say here. it again. Here it is. Check out the Instagram right video. There. And look, it's smoking. Look at all the bongs flying in. All that look how notch. lit it is. Look, how lit? look at this, the giant nug of nodge just flying through the air like a so comet. Lit. The so more, lit. The more you smoke. That's what's going to be called. <laughs> the more, more you <laughs> So now that we got envelope three, let's go ahead and put that on the noise oscillator. Oh, oh there's here. elasticity. That elasticity. 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 Uh, make sure it's set to direct out as well. Very, 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 very nice. Yes, envelope one is on the FM from B, but it's just a smidge. Just a tune. Just a touch. You can mess with this too if you want. Um, if you really, 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 really want to, you can go ahead and mess around with this, but it's touchy, so just know that. And remember, we have this too, like this FM macro. A lot of macros can do a lot of fun. Like, you can turn this all the way up if you wanted to, or you can maybe automate this. Yeah, there you go. So I could do a lot of cool shit with that. So let's go ahead and get into the effects. Um, we got a lot here, um, but 
let's go ahead and we'll get into it and then we'll talk about how they can get this project file thing because we got a lot to cover and i'm we trying to get this shit done. to cover i don't have any time guys technically house out october 1st make sure you guys are checking out technically house out oh october 1st contest insomnia shit's going crazy shit is flying flying everywhere <laughs> Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and jump into the... <laughs> just now, all of a sudden, calm down. Now on to the effects. Crescendo, right? Oh, no. Crescendo is where you get loud. What Diminuendo. is this? Diminuendo. 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 Vibrato. Vibra. Pitches love vibrato. <laughs> Pitch, p- pitches. pitches love vibrato. Pitches. Pitches. Yeah. Okay, pitches. next is going to be a hyper dimension. Uh, set the rate all the way down. Detune at 31. Mix at 46. Size at zero. And the mix on the right at 39. Just kind of getting a little ear play. You know what I'm saying? A little ear play. Mm-hmm. It's like foreplay for your ears. Yeah, dude. Before you start, before you start ear fucking. Oh, exactly. You know, with all the sounds. Your song has to be ear fucking you. It sounds fucking you right in here. <laughs> God, smoked way too much nodge on the way Way there. too much nodge, man. Okay, next is a chorus, and rate is going to be at 0. 0.212, delay at 11.3, delay 2 at 3.8, uh, depth at 11, feed at 38, and low PF, low pass filter at uh, 8751, with the mix at 43. See what that chorus does? Chorus is a really powerful tool. What do you say that, do- like, what does that sound like to you? What does that, like, what does that mean to you? What? The chorus. Like, what does that sound? It's like a, it's like, it's, it's like, like a really an elastic fast... sound. It's it like kind of It's like a rubber band. Yeah. It makes it more rubber bandy. It, it also <laughs> makes it dark too. It yeah. darkens it up. It's a little bit of a filthy. A chorus is like essentially a really short delay, almost like a simple delay, but not. Okay. Um, then we also have a delay, which we are going to use as essentially a really slap back delay, a really fast delay, like a simple delay. I call it that, but that just, it's not actually simple delay, but yeah. it's a. Whatever the fuck, eliminate delay. Do you think anybody else calls it a simple delay? I don't know. I, I think it might just be us. If they don't, fuck them. Yep. <laughs> it's an eliminate delay. It's an eliminate delay. Okay, with this one, we want to make sure that it's linked and feedback set to 65. And these little numbers right here, we have 8.79, and the mix is set to 39 and set to normal. It's really subtle, just kind of yeah. adding a little bit of hossiness. Hossiness. Hoss delay. Now, this is a fun thing from uh, the Red Lips video that we learned. Uh, what you can do is you're going to go ahead and set up a uh, EQ just like so. Frequency set to 58, Q to 67, gain to minus 24 on the left side with the little notch right here. Frequency is at 664. Q is at 58 and gain is at minus 7.6 and make sure you turn that on. And then what we're going to do is you're going to have two little notches like so, but we're going to use this note feature right here. And this is really cool because this will actually, if you smoke notch like us, we're getting way too high in this video. Dude. So high. <laughs> bring it back up. Bring in the notch music. Yeah. Okay. So the note is a really, really cool way. If you add it on a frequency, what it's going to do is it's going to move that filter to the uh, fundamental frequency, which is really cool. Depending upon how much you move it depends upon the octave i believe Mm -hmm. so for this case we're going to go ahead and turn it all the way to 100 now watch this see how it moves it that way right now it's like a phase a phase filter let's go ahead and also put that on the uh on the right side to the frequency we're going to put that at 17 okay it's hitting another fundamental Another fundamental, keeping it in tune. So every time I hit a different note, it's going to keep it in tune. But what we're going to do is we're going to add a resonance boost now. And this is where you're going to really see it kind of come to live instead of doing it like a phase. So we're going to go ahead and switch on. I think it's uh, envelope two. Mm -hmm. So envelope two is going to go on the gain. Okay, so that's going to push that little cue all the way up. And we're going to set that up to 81, just like so. There it is. You hear that little resonance boost? And it's in key, mind you, okay? You learned a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do it on the right side as well. 49. That was a huge hit of Nodge, guys. Hopefully you guys got That was insane. High as fuck on Nodge as we did. You hear the difference in that? It's just a resonance. It's like creating your own resonator, which we're going to talk about soon. Yeah, too. just There's you guys wait. So much notch to be smoked. You just in this wait, video. guys. Let's make this shit loud and add a multiband compressor on it with Thresh at minus eighteen over one, Rache at four over one, Attack ninety, Release ninety, Gain at eight point four, and Mix all the way up. 
Very, very, very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and add a MG low 18, like so. Having the cutoff to 504, resonance all the way down, drive at 25, fat down, pan 50, level at zero. Yeah, oh yeah, oh sorry, mix all the way up. We were trying to do something on the level here, but we didn't end up doing it. We were trying to get weird with it. But yeah, you can click this and uh, change it to level if you didn't already know that. And let's go ahead and put uh, envelope, I think, three on it. Envelope three is going to go on that, and it's also going to go both ways like Parker. Shift to option command, click that, and set that to 73. Reinforcing that pluck after we added all that other uh, processing. Sometimes you got to reinforce that pluck back, if you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and add a tube distortion, set it to post, make it look like whatever the fuck this thing is, and turn it's a on, little nub. Uh, set the drive to 56 and the level to minus 11.7. You can just kind of pull this little cue. Oh, yeah, 640 and 0.1 for the cue. And then we're going to go ahead and add, uh, I think it's uh, envelope number two. Envelope number one is gonna go on the frequency knob and that's gonna be set to five. And I think it's just going forward, which it should automatically do once you set it. Mm -hmm. Set that to five. It's kind of creating a little bit of filtering and pluckage going on. Oh, I forgot. The level's all the way up on this, my bad. Yeah. Very, 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 very nice. And we're gonna go ahead and put that also on the drive just a smidge and set that to five as well. It's kind of like filtering it again. We're kind of like filtering it and then like getting the attack. Because to make this sound exact, it took a lot of extra filtering going on, right? Yeah, we were trying to different resonators everywhere and right. different kinds of distortion. It already sounded cool like four moves ago. And then we started yeah. like taking it back because we were trying a lot of different things. Next, we have a reverb. Okay? Reverb. Reverb. And uh, we went ahead and added a macro to it. But let's go ahead and set it to haul size at 6%, decay at 1.4, low cut at 54, high cut at 71, gain at 94, sorry, spin at 94, spin depth at 21. And then if you want to add a macro like we did, uh, you can go ahead and click on macro one. And this is kind of cool. You can go ahead and pull this to around 24 if you want to add your own reverb in it. Really, really, really short reverb. Yeah, create some room. But we're not going to use this reverb. We're going to go ahead and use uh, Ableton. So just so in case you just want to do it and do your own processing, there's a little fun tip for you. So um, I think we got everything. Do I? Oh, I need to add an envelope on something else. Okay, so we found where uh, envelope one is supposed to go on. Remember I mentioned the level before. I messed up and I, I switched this. So the... The uh, mix is supposed to be all the way up, and if you click it and set it to level and turn it down to, I think, right around here, roughly, and you're gonna wanna put envelope one on the level and have it go all the way up. Even more pluck. Even more pluck. See, you can use these little level nows to get even more plucky, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and before we get into the processing, we want to talk about how you guys can get all these amazing sounds, like all these drums that I kind of played earlier that sound like this. Essentially get a, a little uh, a tech house before it even comes out. We even got these sounds going on right here. Little, oh, that's a great one. A little whistle wassle. <laughs> a little whistle wassle. <laughs> uh, we got some of these sounds, which are really sick. You guys can go ahead and get those at our Patreon right now by joining the YouTube legacy tier or the VIP tier or the mystery loot tier or the YouTube tier. And what that is basically is I'll start with legacy. Legacy tier is essentially we have all of our projects from 2018 of September, okay? Yeah. Up there with all the presets uh, in a nice folder for you guys, all of the samples in a nice folder, and of course the project file itself so you guys can open it up and use it for educational purposes, learn from it, use the sounds, make your own stuff. Really, really cool way. Helps the channel out a lot. And as you can see, watch this confetti burst of all these patrons. Bam! Boom. Look at all these new patrons coming in. There's this guy coming in over here. Oh, man, I got him. I got him. What's got gonna him? happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna Rich, happen? Throw I just, him. I set him down right here. Oh, set him down. He's gonna sit there right now. It could be a girl too. We don't know. Yeah, we guy don't or know. girl. We don't we'll assume. See. So yeah, all of these people, thank you so much. That helps us with supporting. Stay there. It helps with supporting the channel, and it really, really, really helps us out. And yeah. you could be this person right here. Look, you just this person gets a shout out, right? Because they're just sitting right here. Yeah, and another huge benefit that I that we always forget to mention is like. We're always remaking the hottest sounds. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you guys want to remix these songs that have come out, this is the perfect opportunity. You yep. guys are getting the 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 
almost exact sounds. Right. And you could just make a remix real quick. And if you really we did all the work. And if you're really VIP -er, uh you can check out the VIP tier, which essentially gets everything, uh, plus an extra two project files a month. It's insane. And I think Legacy gets one extra project file, and then YouTube is like a monthly with Mystery Loop. I don't want to go over all of them, but uh, we're going to go ahead and say bye to this friend. Let me go ahead and hold you, and then get out of here. <sighs> get out. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and move on to the processing. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and start first with a little bit of EQ. Let's cut some lows first. Oh, actually, let's show the automation real quick. Yeah, let's show them. Okay, automation, what we have is we have uh, first is the pitch bend. It's essentially pitching up. Instead of using like an arpeggiator or something, we went ahead and did this manually, which you can use an arpeggiator, which I think, Parker, you're going to do a video on that. I think yeah, I'm going to show you guys really some little that. tips. So it's essentially going, uh, it's not really going too crazy off grid, but it's essentially just speeding up. So we went ahead and did that with MIDI to get the correct tone. So the only real automation here, I believe, is just the pitch bend going up and then staying here. This was hard to nail. Because it was really, really tough. And the way we did it is we just started from here, actually, to get the pitch right. And then went kind of worked our way backwards. So now that we got into that, let's go ahead and get into the EQ. Low cut with a little dip at 156. Uh, we got some reverb. Uh, again, like I said, we turned the reverb off. So we have it here. A short reverb just to kind of create some space at 200 milliseconds. 45 dry wet. Just a little bit of space. Uh, we got an OTT. Let's get this shit loud. Okay, we got some highs pulled up, some mids, and some lows with it at 60% and the time at minus 46. Interesting, or 46%, I should say. Kind of gives it that extra little pluckiness, which yeah. we're probably going to end up pulling out again. <laughs> yep, yep. We keep making it plucky. Chorus. We're kind of just duplicating all the effects we kind of did in Serum. You know what I mean? So you can use Serum effects again, I guess. That would probably get you something similar. Yeah, just exaggerate it. High pass at 60 and dry wet at uh, 30 with feedback at 16%. The little uh, circle that Parker loves to move all over the place. Mm -hmm. Starting to come together. EQ, let's tame some of the low ends, pull out some of this. This was like a little bit of a buzzy harmonic that kind of kept coming back as a little... Uh, a little nasty one that just kept coming. Sometimes you get those, you know, you got to keep taking them out, you know? Yeah, you got to use the little headphones on that top right over there. Yep, that's the way to dial do it. it in. You can kind of hear, I'll show you this little frequency. <laughs> this is like that, it was just too much. Yep. And then we got a little pull up here to add a little bit more attack to it. Next, we have a resonator. Okay, guys, smoke this nuts. I know this is a long video, but there's a lot to cover. <laughs> This one's great. This okay. Is, I love this. So we were trying to figure out how to get the right pitch. You remember how I showed you with the EQ with um, using the note feature? So I've never found a cool way to use Resonator. But what we did is we started messing around with it. And we, what we figured out is this is essentially pulling up resonance notches uh, and kind of just giving it an overall, uh, I don't know how to say it, I guess. a uh, They're like notes. They pull up different notes. Yeah. Uh, as frequencies. Exactly, yeah. You're really good at explaining things. So we have this one. If you can go ahead and match the setting. This is kind of a new thing for us to kind of mess with it, but uh, a little bit of a bandpass frequency at 372. Mode is on B. Decay is at 21.4. And then this was the main thing is that we had this one set to F sharp. So we're just essentially, we're focusing F sharp. We're kind of pulling a resonance in it. Yeah, and if you, if you, if you could see, we turned off certain things. So if you turn on each band, like there's a one, two, and there's a third... So we, ha we kept... Yeah, you could turn these up, right? Like Yeah, and then there's the fifth and the fourth, right? you know? So we turned those off just because we don't care about those pitches. We don't care about these pitches. They don't, we don't care need about us. They don't care about us. <laughs> they love vibrato, though. They love it. So, yeah, with at 40 toots and dry wet at 26%, we went ahead and added a another EQ with a low cut, a little bit of boost right here. Yep. Uh, then we have a saturator, cap it off, a 1 dB with a soft clip at 100%. Let's hear it in the mix so far. It's almost, it's pretty much there. Okay. Yeah. Then this is just sculpting. You guys can do this if you want. We're just trying to sculpt it to the original. Uh, pulling up uh, a little notches here at 6.53 and at 2.15. If you notice, uh, me and Parker, we don't really like to... Well, we do do carving on, like, vocals and stuff yeah. like that. We like to boost frequencies, Yeah, we're, we get all excited. Do whatever sounds good. As long as it's not, like, sounding too loud, sometimes you have to 
kind of tame it a little bit, but I love to pull up notches all the time. I don't ever really like subtract unless you saw like that one frequency that was bothering me. Yeah, and if you guys keep your compression controlled afterwards, you could be pushing into your compressor so it's not you're not getting too crazy. Yeah, so perfect reason. You don't always have to do subtractive EQ. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're not trying to do like, I hate the idea of thinking in reverse to get what you want. Like, yeah, that's I'm what subtract. they taught us in school. Yeah, fuck school. Dude. Yeah, fuck school. <laughs> but no, I mean, if it works, it sounds good for you, that's fine. But I definitely totally. in like vocals and a lot of recording stuff, I think that's yeah. where it really makes sense. EQ is really important. In synthesis, it's like we're making the sound from scratch, and mm -hmm. there's a lot of uh, different frequencies that were in harmonics that we're controlling ourselves. Yeah. Rather than like a vocal, which you have just shit all over the place. Yeah, that's just shit. Damn, everywhere. look at all the nods we're smoking. There's, this video is heavy. Dude. Heavy video, guys. I don't know if I can finish, bro. <laughs> right. You got it, dude. You got, <laughs> I got it. Got it. All right. Next, we have a reverb at uh, 541 millisecond for decay. You can see the little low and high cut and dry wet at 15%. Little space. And of course, got to cap it off with an OTT. This was a, a, late, a last minute play yeah. by, uh, by the coach over here. Yep. Said, dude, we need some more OTT on that. And I we said, just need some more. Yes. And what we did is you could turn off the lows. A lot of times you can get good results for this if you don't want to go ahead and cut out too much lows because we already have processed it so much. So we pulled up some mids and some highs. 100% time at 274. Really, really, really nice and compressed. Up. Again, another low cut just in case. You never know. And then, of course, a utility. And this utility is just adding a little bit of gain and a little bit of width. Sounds like this. Oh, man. We nailed that, dude. So there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure that you guys subscribe, like the video, comment down for a chance to win a pack of your choice. We're not going to announce any winners today, but probably next video. Next video, we're going to be announcing all the winners. And make sure you guys stay tuned for October 1st for Technically House. Again, the first 500 people that buy it are entered into the drawing to win all the gear. And whoever purchases it, we're going to be announcing details about our contest with Insomniac to get your music heard, which we should call it that, like... Yeah. Get your music heard or something. Oh, yeah. Contest 1995 with Insomniac. That's right. We are in with Insomniac. Shout out fucking Nick Nicotina. Yeah, shout out Nick, That's dude. our boy. Go, man. go check him out on Instagram. Nick Nicotina, right? It's hilarious on I Instagram, love Nicotine, dude. Oh, bro. Oh, my God. Me Except too. it makes my, my ankles swell up. <laughs> He definitely does. <laughs> definitely makes your ankles swell. Yeah, dude. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Technically House Out, October 1st. Parker, am I missing anything? That's it. We'll see you guys. Make sure you subscribe. Peace. Thank you, guys. It's my house.